All right, hello everyone, and good morning. And peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I just saw a video sent to me by one of you, and it was a guy, his name is Muhammad Hijab. Uh, if you remember this guy, he is one of those who've been invited uh, by uh, the Titan TV to debate me, and he escaped, he ran away. Uh, in the Titan TV, he mentioned I guess uh, three names or four names. Uh, he mentioned uh, Muhammad Hijab, uh, Adnan Rashid, uh, and uh, I think Ali Dawa, something like that. However, this is not really what important. For me, all of them, they are, like except Adnan Rashid, he is educated. The rest is just a bunch of potatoes trying to make themselves like they are the one who knows Islam. However, the video sent to me, it was an interview in the D show uh, for the guy who they call him uh, Muhammad Hijab. In case you do not know how he looked like, you can click at the, uh, at the video underneath, uh, there is an info for the whole interview with the D show. All right. I'm not going to play the video. So Muslims don't play in the game of uh, copyright. And in this, uh, in the in the in the beginning of this video, they quote this guy saying that everything in Islam is a copy of the Jews from A to Z. In other way, he said actually, everything in Islam you can find it in the Ju Judaism from A to Z. Now, is that really a proven Islam to be true or a proven Islam to be a false cult? Let us examine how Muhammad is copying from the Jews is he copying from his God which is the teaching of his God or it is Muhammad is copying the Jews uh, always when Muslims they speak about their God and their prophet they try to present him to us that he is a person who received a message from God and when we ask them what is the proof of that they have no proof. Even the Quran have no proof. Even the Quran said to Muhammad, if you don't believe, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. Uh, let us see together examples of how Muhammad established his religion. <clears throat> if we go in this hadith here, we will find this. There is something the Muslims believe in, it's called the punishment of the grave. A Jewish woman entered into me and said the treatment of the grave is because of a urine. Who is the one who's saying that? A Jewish woman. I said, who? Aisha. Remember, the one who's talking here is Aisha. Aisha, she said, you are lying. Aisha should not believe in this stupid thing. This is cannot be true. I mean, you see Aisha, maybe she is a kid, but she is not stupid. She said to her, you are lying. What is that? I mean, this is stupid. She said, no, it is true. We cut our skin and the clothed because of it. I want you to remember this because this is, is going to lead us to different hadith and different story Muhammad believe in. Because of it, the Messenger of Allah went out to pay uh, to pray and our voice become lo became loud which means those they are fighting over it he said what is this so i told him what this woman she said he said she spoke the truth muhammad he agreed with the jewish woman but this is not the important really in this story because until now there's no proof that muhammad he learned that from the jew but if you go a little bit in the story you will see aisha saying after that, I never saw the prophet praying, but he say, I seek refuge from the punishment in every prayer. Never offer a prayer without saying, I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. <clears throat> As you see it. Here you notice, that Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, who witnessed Muhammad praying, anytime he prays, supposedly, she is his wife. 
she is a person who stay with him in the house so there's nothing hiding from her she never heard Muhammad saying that statement about seeking refuge from the punishment of the grave how come today it was the first day Muhammad he starts saying that prayer that I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave because Muhammad he heard the Jewish women and since then he never stopped saying that before he never mentioned it if it is so important to mention in the end of every prayer as you see he never never pray without saying it but this is after the Jewish women she came if it is so important that we need to say it every time we pray how come Muhammad never mentioned it because simply he is copying from A to Z from somebody else in this case from the Jews as they said in the Dean show <clears throat> I apologize my voice is, is, is tired so he copied everything nothing he have the only verses Muhammad he have or teaching is about his sexuality like Allah he gave him an order to sleep with all women Allah gave him order that the woman she can give herself Allah gave him order to give money this is his own fabrication the rest is copying from somebody some from the Christians some from the Sabia some from the Jews everything and in the Dean show they 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 approve that to us they say from A to Z Islam is copying from the Jews now here we mentioned in the beginning we said if you remember that the story in the front of us that the Jewish woman she said that the punishment of the grave is from the urine from the urine do you see it So here the Jewish woman she mentioned two things she mentioned the, the punishment of the grave which Muhammad never spoke of before and the Jewish woman she mentioned that the reason for the punishment of the grave is the urine I mean this is silly and stupid who in the world want to believe in this garbage and Aisha when the Jewish woman she said that she said to her you are lying which means Aisha she never heard both things about lying about uh, uh, urine will cause punishment of the grave and the punishment of the grave and then you will find right away after that Muhammad he starts spreading the news that urine will cause a punishment in the grave <laughs> Muhammad said urination is the main cause of the punishment of the grave it's authentic Have, I mean, how you can explain that to me? Except that Muhammad is nothing but a thief. He heard the Jews just a second ago. He liked the idea. He adopted the idea. And now it became of his religion. This man, whatever the Jews they say, he take them for granted because he knew that those people knows about God better than him. He's, he's a fake man, but this woman, she is just saying stupid things. The Jews, they have a lot of stupid things coming from fictions and legions and etc. Like Suleiman spoke to the ant as an example in the Quran. Tons of his stories in the Quran is coming from the legion of the Jews. So this is, I mean, we are just giving you examples. The ring of Suleiman, the flying carpet of Suleiman, the ant speaking to Suleiman, the genie of Suleiman. The flying horse of Suleiman, all those stuff in the Quran is coming from the Jews. And here Muhammad, he adopted the story of the, of the urine. And now he is teaching wherever he go that urine is the reason for punishment of the grave. How in the world somebody can say such a thing? You see, when you are a fake prophet and you copy a stupid lie, that will get you busted. Muhammad, when he got copying the Jews, saying what she said, this naive woman who believe in fairy tale stories, if this story is true, as Muslims they say, Muhammad, he got himself busted and he exposed himself. How you are a messenger of God and you believe in such a garbage story? A man of God? will not believe in such a stupid thing.